What's up, y'all? Just got done with a two-hour live show just for y'all on TikTok. And um, we just got an inquiry about, you know, someone had a criminal issue from the past, just had a consultation about a criminal case from the past, even from like 20 years ago. And most of y'all say you didn't do it. So if you didn't do it, don't sign the plea deal, okay? Especially if you had a lawyer anyway. Don't let a lawyer convince you to sign, a criminal defense lawyer, convince you to sign a plea deal when you're an immigrant or with no status or even including y'all folks that have resident status. Just because you got status doesn't mean you're going to be fine for the future when you apply for N-400 to become a U.S. citizen, depending on the crime, of course. But more often than not, that crime you're going to sign off on a plea deal is going to affect you for naturalization. That's at least that's the people that call us, right? So just be careful, okay? If you're an immigrant or a resident card holder, status holder, even though you have a criminal defense lawyer, and maybe even though they may practice some immigration too or dabble in it, make sure you talk to a law firm that only focus on immigration to triple verify for you, okay? And I get it. Maybe because usually how it works from my understanding of a criminal defense law firm is that they charge, they charge you a certain amount just to get started, right? And then they charge you a different amount additional on top of that if you decide to go trial. So please, your legal status is on the line. I know. It's going to cost more for full representation, but maybe ask what that fee is for the full thing if needed before you sign up with that person because maybe they didn't put in a contract. Who knows? All right. Follow for more. Talk to you soon.